Hello, this is Mrs. Gaudio with a tutorial on how to uh, do selective color on one of your photos. Once again, go to File, Open, scroll down to your photos, and I'll pick this one, open it. Here's my image. Now you'll notice that there's a background layer, and I want to um, duplicate that layer so that I have a backup just in case. Move up to Layer pick new adjustment layer, go down through the menu till you see black and white. Click OK. Okay, you'll see your picture has turned black and white and over in the right pan uh, layers panel you will see that there has been a black and white adjustment layer added. Now you can adjust the red, the quality of the black and white. You'll see that the, by bringing up the reds you get uh, lighter colors and you can play with that to see it um, to make it the kind of quality that you prefer. Okay, that's step one. The next step is to go over to your toolbar on this side and you're going to uh, get your eraser. And you're going to click on your eraser, eraser tool. So click and drag so that you're sure you're on the eraser. You can go up here to make the eraser size bigger and you can change the hardness from very hard to, to very soft. Okay, when I go over here with my eraser and I start painting on top of the bug, you will see that I am actually erasing the black and white, is actually what I'm doing, and letting the color shine through. Now, that's a really, really quick job you're going to have to get in more detail and the way that you can do that is to zoom in. You can either click command plus or you can go up, and this is the way I recommend, to the window and go down and click on navigator which will give you a nice little window and you can see that you can zoom in and you can move the picture around so that you have it exactly where you want it. Okay, the reason I've zoomed in is I want to make a very 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 careful edge here so I'm going to go back and change my brush size a little bit smaller and that I can get a very nice detailed edge right, right to where I want. Okay, so that's the gist of it. Uh, you guys can do a better job than me. I'll just do a really, really quick shot of it. You wanna go right to the edge now. If you muck up, and I'll show you a muck up. Whoops, no worries. There are two ways to fix it. You can either go from eraser to paintbrush and simply paint the black and white back in, or if you are on eraser, where you make the mistakes, you can simply go to this color bar here and we see we, we have white on top. We want to put the black on top by clicking the arrows and with the blacks on top, it does the opposite. So now our eraser is actually erasing um, our color. And if we made a mistake here, whoops, we want the color back in. We're just going to click the box and then we're able to paint the color back in. And you see, voila. Our picture has selective color and of course you're going to file, save as, you'll save it as last first dash nine dash your grade dash design dash selective color dot PSD and you want to go into your design folder in your Photoshop folder and save. And you're done.